Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike, Katie, 2 kog part of the technical support staff here at SCRplay.com. Quick video, we're going to do an overview of WSJTX and SDR Uno and setting up your virtual audio cable and your virtual COM port pair. So this way, when you select a band within WSJTX, it will tune to that band and frequency within SDR Uno. Okie doke. First thing you're going to want to do is set up a virtual COM port pair. I use VSPE, which is right here. It's uh, two consecutive COM port numbers, COM1, COM2, or you can do uh, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. I believe Windows 10 had an issue with using uh, a COM port with a COM port number 10. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a possibility. I believe I read that, so just stay away from using nine and 10. Uh, and if it's not an issue anymore let me know in the comments but i believe i read an issue that there is problems with selecting uh com port 10 for some reason within windows 10 and if i find it online i'll post it in the description also so just make it simple make a, a com port pair one and two you can use vspe or you can use com zero com uh, there are some caveats with using com zero com, uh, com. Uh, I'm not a user of that app, uh, but I'll put a link in the description that shows the proper setup for that software. So you have your COM port pair right here, one and two. So we'll minimize that. Second thing you're going to need is a virtual audio cable. I have actually three of them. I have VB cable, which is free. I have virtual audio cable, which is paid for use. And my sound card has a built-in loopback function, which acts as almost like a virtual audio cable. Uh, so I use that. So let's just use a VB cable. Let me find that and we'll launch it. Now I'm also using a brand new mic. Just came in about an hour ago. So hopefully the audio levels are correct. Uh, they won't be lower. They won't be too loud, or you don't hear too much background noise. Hopefully it's just right. So let's uh, let's find VB cable. It should be under VB. Go to cable and go to uh, cable control panel. And it's just the the free version comes with a single pair which is all you need an in and an out and mine is set up for 44.1 and the input should also be 44.1 so we'll close that out let's launch SDR Uno okay let's click play select the high Z bring that up first thing we're going to do is go to the settings go to out and select the virtual audio cable. And as I said, I have three of them. I have VB cable, VAC, and the loopback built into my sound card. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use VB cable. If you wanna monitor the audio, you're gonna to need to go into your control panel, sound, I believe it's under playback and listen to this device. If you wanna pipe the VB cable audio again through your speakers, there uh, should be a video that I've done that showed that I believe it's video two or three, but I'll put a bunch of links in the description. Like I said, it's just a quick video to show you that this does work. All right, so we select the BB cable. That's good. Let's launch. Uh, ah, we have to set the virtual COM port pair. So we want to go to CAT. Now, there's two COM port numbers when you make a pair, consecutive numbers. One and two, two and three, three and four, however you want to do it. Set SDR Uno up as COM port one. Leave the board rate at default, and you want to go to enable connect. So that's COM one. Go into WSJTX, I have to find mine, which is right here, and you're going to set it up to use COM2 as a Kenwood TS480. So let me slide this into view, bring this into view, and we have nothing in the spectrum. So we have two things to configure in here. The input, which is a virtual audio cable, and the control, which is a TS480. That's what SDR Uno responds to. Let's go to configuration. Let's go to, no, we're not going to config. We're going to settings. From settings, I go to audio. The input is going to be VB cable, which is this one. Let's click OK, and we should see something, hopefully, in the spectrum, which we do. Now, we're not on a, uh, a FT8 frequency yet. What the COM port pair is going to do is allow us to select if we select the mode, which is going to be, let's say, FT8, and then we select the band, it's going to tune that frequency right here in SDR Uno. So now let's just do that part of the configuration. We'll go to radio. We will find Kenwood TS480.
which is here. We're not going to use COM1 because it's a pair. SCR Uno is set to COM1, so let's set it to COM2. Set this to 57600. I believe all this can be set as is. Uh, PTT method we're not going to use because we're not transmitting. This is receive only. And I believe for split you can do fake it, but let's just test cat. Should get a green light if it all works. Okay, we got a green light. It works. And it read the VFO frequency, which is wrong. So let's click OK. Let's go back to mode. We'll go to FT8. We will go to 20 meters. And there it is. And let's see if we get some signals. All right, let's clean this up over here. Let's set the mode to upper sideband, 3K. And unmute it. And there you have it, it decoded and controlled SDR Uno. Big thing that needs to be done also uh, with doing any of these FTJT digital modes is set your PC clock. It is extremely important that the clock is accurate. So I'm sure there's a ton of videos out there that will show you how to do it. But just a, just a quick one here to show you that it does work and it's uh, very easy to do. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Let's do one more decode. Seventy-three.